Okay, this season we're going all out to win the Champions League. In two seasons, we've won the Carabao Cup and also the Premier League. Now there's two trophies left on our list to become the best football team in the world. Now we just lost our best player of the whole series, Neymar to Barcelona. So we now need to replace him and it's going down to deadline day. If we don't make the right choice, our Champions League dreams will fall apart. So drop a like down below if you're still enjoying this series and let's get right back into it. Okay, we're pulling up to Eric Ten Hag's house. We have a little meeting with him. Now he told us to meet him in his backyard and yeah, I would say this is a pretty nice house. It's got a pool in the back, but this meeting is about our deadline day plans. So Tanag says he wants Harry Kane, but Sheik Jassim, the main owner of Manchester United, he wants Kylian Mbappe. Now Mbappe would need us to sell Anthony, maybe even more than Anthony, to afford him. And then he's not even sure if Mbappe wants to even join us. And with us also playing Everton on deadline day, it's going to be a very busy and important day for the club. So we get back to our car, we leave his house, and yeah, deadline day is about to be kind of crazy. Okay, first comment, don't sign Kane, he's 31 years old. Yeah, so there were comments saying to sign Sign Kane, sign Mbappe, sign Osman. But Osman's pretty much in third, so I think it's between Kane and Kylian Mbappe. I mean, Harry Kane's age is a factor here. You know what? As you have Qatar and Holland is on Man City, sign Mbappe so you need a top level striker to compete with Man City and Erling Holland. So in the comments, the majority consensus was to choose Mbappe over Harry Kane. It seems like that was the majority. The problem is, Kylian Mbappe is way over our budget right now, so it's not even guaranteed we can actually do it. But last one, I like Kane Osman as crossing options in the box. Mbappe you'd obviously take, but it feels as if he doesn't solve any issues currently. That is true. I kind of want to target in this team, someone that players like Rashford or Garnacho can cross into. Now, Mbappe could be that player he could, but obviously Osman Kane are better at that. But Mbappe is overall the better player, so we got some big choices to make. So, it is currently transfer deadline day. Now, before we can make possibly the biggest transfer of this entire club in this series, we have to play Everton first. Now, our first two games was a win and a draw, so not the worst start imaginable. We're playing with a new formation, a new system, so this game we can further test that. Now, with Anthony's potential exit of this team, I'm gonna start Mason Mount on the right wing. I'm gonna do that. This could be the final game before we make a, like, club altering move here now this right here is a good example of a game that we should win like everton are not that strong as a team so if we want to hold ourselves to a higher standard this should be a win all right davies to garnacho come on good start garnacho chance to go for an early shot it's not the worst shot but it is also not the best okay costa please come out for that oh you gotta be kidding me that is how we can see the first goal of the game. Wait, what even happened here? I gotta see this again. Now, Costa hesitates coming out. He comes out late and he tries to square it and it goes off, I think, uh, either Martinez or Varane and then bounces to McNeil. Okay, that is such an unfortunate start. That is incredibly lucky for Everton. But also, Diego Costa uh, made me a little nervous there. I don't want to see David Gea 2.0. Oh man, Martinez goes over, down low, good positioning. But wait, that was, a, that was a foul? Wait, how do we foul him there? That makes no sense. Donny van de Beek, free kick. Costa makes a save. I don't understand how we fouled him, but okay. This has been a very interesting but bad start. Crossing in. Mason Mount goes for a bicycle kick clearance. I kind of don't know what I'm seeing here, Martinez. Okay, even his touch right there was shaky. I am seeing some weird things right now. Then take to Garnacho, though. We got space here. Garnacho should feed in Rashford. He does. Rashford. Okay, that pass was so late. Why is that defender going away from Rashford? And how do we not get the shot away there? The way that defender like tried to mark the middle, that was so weird. All right, Bruno, good tackle. Come on, we need to tie this up. We can't lose to Everton. Bonzo Davies, two Garnacho, Garnacho. We got a cross to Rashford. Oh man, it's too close to Henderson in goal. Also our former player. Bro, that lucky goal has had us on just a bad start. If they don't score that, I feel like we probably score first and have a much better start. Costa, another save. That is a good corner, but Varane gets it out. I am very unhappy with the start, boys. Maybe it's the lack of a natural striker up top right now, but we just don't look that threatening. All right, Marco Sudente, I need, I need my best players to step up. Garnacho has room here. Garnacho tries to cut inside. You know he does. Garnacho tries to find this space. Oh, I took so much time there. We still couldn't score. All right, Bruno two. Who is that? That's Mason Mount. Oh, Mason, the header was not great. Okay, Bruno running forward, goes over to Mason Mount. Mason, get it back to Bruno. Bruno, chance to shoot. That was a good shot. That's a good save, though. Come on, that needs to be a good corner. Rashford, okay, he was going for that, but it kind of turned. Martinez, I know you can shoot a little bit. Martinez shoots. It's going to be rebounded. Mason Mount gets it to Garnacho. He's going to shoot. Also blocked. Okay, we're struggling a little bit. Garnacho gets it to Bruno. Oh, man, he was so open there. Okay, we're looking a little bit better. A tiny bit. All right, Marco Cidente is literally on his bicycle. Alfonso Davies is in. Alfonso Davies. Good first touch, sets him up, but Hendo makes the save, and that is halftime. That is so unfortunate. I mean, when you lose a player that scored 40 goals for you in a season like Neymar, there's obviously going to be a little bit of drop-off. Okay, that was a good shot. I probably shouldn't have took that, but it was decent. Mount to Bruno. Come on, boys. We're going to tie this up. This has gone too far long. Without tying it up, goes to Rashford. Rashford gets it back to Mason Mount. Mason, oh, man. Milenko is just right on him. Bruno, Yudente, Yudente. Chance to shoot for him, maybe. He is going to take a shot, and... It's another save by Henderson. Okay, I'm going to do Hoyland for Mount and then put Hoyland up top and Rashford out to the left. We're going to to the right. We're going to do that. Now, Hoyland has like dropped off a lot recently where he hasn't been playing as good as he did when we first signed him, but we still believe in Hoyland. 
He should be the future of this team, no matter who we sign. Oh, man, that was a good header. Come on, do it again. Do it again. Bruno Fernandez. Cross in the box. Oh, someone gets to it. Oh, crossbar. We can't get the rebound. Oh, man, that was such a good chance. Okay, we need to try and pull him out. Okay, Bruno, good dribbling there. Goes to... Oh, you didn't take... Garnacho was so free there. Oiland finds Garnacho. Garnacho turns, goes for the shot, and Garnacho scores a very big goal that we needed. Okay, the dribbling right there was really good from Garnacho. It is about time. This game is 1 1. We should not go on to win this game. Garnacho receives it. Little turn, shot, perfect. Okay, 67th minute. This game is tied up. Garnacho gets it to Garnacho. Garnacho gets it into Hoyland. Hoyland. Hoyland, oh man, the pace just isn't quite there right now. All my players feel so slow. Like, Hoyland used to feel so much faster than that. I don't know what that's about, but Yudente, chance to go for a left-footed shot. Oh, I thought that was good. Dallo, great ball to Hoyland. Hoyland, there's the pace, Hoyland. Hoyland, please score this. Hoyland should score that. Okay, so simple, and it's 2-1. We have finally broke down Sean Dyke's Everton defense. They held up until now, but I think the floodgates are opening. And if Hoyland scores a lot, like as a backup striker, that'll make us so much better as a team. So it's uh, good to see him score. All right, 12 minutes. I want one more to just seal this game. Now, that is dangerous in the box. Goes to, okay, Casemiro, great tackle. Okay. Was that Yurente? That's the worst touch I've ever seen Yurente take, but thankfully, Martinez is there to clean it up. Oh, Casemiro, that is such a good tackle right there. Now, hello to Bruno Fernandez. If we just score one here, we seal it. Bruno, he's got options. Goes to Yerente, Yerente. Back to Bruno. Bruno to Garnacho. We got options in the box, I think. Goes to Rashford. Rashford header attempt. It goes right to Henderson, though. Okay, Yerente has space. Actually, Davies has space. Bring the defenders out wide and then go right back inside. Hoyland, good touch shot. Unfortunately, it's going to be blocked and it's also going to be cleared. Oh, no. They're going to get one more chance. Casemiro, though. Oh, that was so sloppy. But I think that maybe you just saved all three points right there. Okay, I didn't expect this game to be that tough, but Everton were just so good defensively. They scored that one lucky goal. It really should have been 2-0. But end of the day, it's still a win. All right, Tenog has a press conference after that game. He says he knows there's a lot of rumors about our potential transfer business. He says if there's a move we can make to get better as a team, we'll do it. But okay, after that game, later that day, we're heading to the offices because we're about to have a very busy night as we finish deadline day. Now, a few days ago, Tenog asked Ethan Mbappe to talk to his brother, Kylian Mbappe, about maybe joining us, or at least like gauge his interest so they had a sit down talk together and ethan says it went well but that's all he said now we get into the office and tenog says harry kane is no longer an option harry kane is actually signed for real madrid so i guess he just couldn't betray spurs and play for another premier league team so he gets his big money move to real madrid and tenog says i'm not completely sold on mbappe but the owners want him so let's try and do it so it looks like we're going all in for mbappe that means anthony is currently transfer listed so we're gonna try and sell him and if we can't we maybe could offer a swap deal for Mbappe with PSG. I don't know. So Tanag says we've received an offer from Anthony finally, and it's actually from Bayern Munich. Now I would have liked to keep Anthony, but if we're going for Mbappe, we had to sell him. So he's not Bayern Munich and it was for 125 million. So that makes our budget jump from like 170 to 290 basically. Now I think that might be enough for Mbappe, but it's cutting it close. So Tanag actually calls Kylian Mbappe and Kylian says that his brother Ethan has said a lot of good things about Manchester United and that he's open to talking in person about a potential move. So he's in a flout here right now and Tanag tells us to go pick him up at the airport so we hop in this like club owned suv and we drive to the airport to pick up mbappe he's on a private flight right now and the clock is ticking down on deadline day so we need to be quick about this so mbappe lands and we pick him up we said of course appreciate you coming out here and then we drive mbappe to our offices as fast as we can but also within the law and then tenog and mbappe go talk to office just them a little private meeting and we're outside the door and we are just extremely nervous here we're pacing back and forth this could make or break our season now after about 45 minutes they both walk out together and tenog comes over over to us. I think we've found our new striker. So right after that, Tenog negotiated PSG. And here is the Fabrizio Romano here we go tweet about Mbappe to Manchester United. Now we had to pay 210 million for Kylian Mbappe. That price would have been a lot higher if his contract wasn't running out. But with his wage and everything added up, we still had to sell Anthony. And just like that, the transfer window is officially shut. And then here we are the next day, Kylian Mbappe unveiling at Manchester United. We have signed possibly the world's best current player. Now I'm not even sure if this is exactly gonna work he's not exactly the type of player we wanted but he's still killing mbappe and he is gonna be our new star striker in this team now mbappe is gonna take the number seven shirt we know ronaldo is one of his idols and we're gonna give alejandro Garnacho number 11 showing his increased role in this team because our new front three is gonna be rashford mbappe and then alejandro Garnacho. we all think he's ready for a starting role this season so this is his chance to really prove himself and now with a 92 rated mbappe up top this team right here is going for the champions league and i feel like we're not good enough to win it this year but saying that's one thing actually doing it is a whole another 
thing. But okay, it's time for Mbappe's debut for Manchester United. And it's going to be in the first Champions League match of the year. So our group this year is Inter, Benfica, and Dynamo Kiev. So I mean, that's a solid group. Inter, obviously the biggest competition, but we should make it through without too much fight. Now, first game though, a huge test versus Inter Milan at home. So Mbappe's first press conference as a United player. He says he's very excited to play his first home game in front of the fans. He's always had the dream of playing in the Premier League. And hopefully he starts his career as a United player with a win. So Champions League opening night, that is the lineup. Now this Inter team actually looks very interesting. They have given us some issues in the past, but it's time for Kylian Mbappe's debut. All right, come on. This is the focus this year, the Champions League. This is the trophy we want to make this team the world's best team. Mbappe's signing signals that. So we now need to have a great opening match. Mbappe, welcome to Old Trafford. I hope this signing works. Because honestly, there's no guarantee it'll work. Okay, Yedente, great ball to Rashford. Mbappe is on a run. Mbappe, Rashford, the first combining, actually goes to Garnacho. He was going to go for a volley there. Now, Mbappe is not necessarily a target man, but I feel like he's better at that than uh, Rashford. So that should be a positive at least. All right, Casemiro back to Yedente. Yedente gets it over to Bruno. Bruno got some angles, but this defense, as always, is... A little bit tough to break down. Okay, Onana was actually very uh, nervous on that save. I didn't think that shot was that troubling. Bruno cross in. That is going to be Martinez. And that is 1-0 to Manchester United. Okay, beautiful cross by Bruno and a great start to this game now. And Martinez does not score a lot of headers, so it's a rare moment. But cross in is beautiful. Then Martinez climbs and into the back of the net. Okay, 1-0 in the 11th minute. Okay, this is not good. This is not good. Who is that? I have actually no clue. Grifo? I have no idea who that is. And he just scored. Okay, I was maybe a little bit too aggressive trying to close him down it created the space simple mistake and a simple goal for them now we got to iron out those mistakes if we want to be a champions League winning team like always though inter always give me issues no matter what team i'm playing with no matter what they always give me issues okay we can't get to two that quickly we just can't do that they just basically ran at us and our defense completely crumbled okay griezmann and lautaro martinez combined in in four minutes we are now down 2-1 this is not how mbappe's debut is supposed to go Yedente gets it to mbappe mbappe turns and killing Mbappe. Okay, just like that, he scores his first goal for Manchester United. Okay, 2-2. As soon as I say that, Mbappe arrives. I mean, Yerente just found him. It's a quick little turn. Shot, it's so simple. Oh, man, the world's best player scores his first goal for his new club. If he plays as good as we know he can, he can probably score more goals than uh, Neymar did for us. Oh, man, bro. They, they just give me issues, like... They are cutting the defense apart like we're not even there. How is this 3-2? Bro, Yerente and Bruno did not mark Bro there at all. They're supposed to be like my box-to-box -box mids, and they didn't even mark him. He ran right by them. That is so bad. 25 minutes in, there's already been five goals scored. Bruno tied this up again. Bruno tied up. Okay, that was another good shot, though. Bruno crossed in. That looks very good. Oh, man, that was a good header. Oh, nah, nah, good save, though. Okay, Dallas is going on a run all by himself into... Marcus Rashford Onana makes a very good save there again. Come on, boys. We need to tie this up. That's a good corner, but it's going to be cleared. Yedente, back to Bruno. Please be on side. He is. Now, Bruno in a dangerous spot goes. Oh, man. Mbappe was so free there. All right, now it's up to Bruno. Come on, boys. Tie it up here because Mbappe could be in Mbappe. A little bit of space. Oh, man. Mbappe, that dribbling was so good. Our new signing has a brace in the first half, and this game is 3-3. His close control there was insane. Like, those defender right here, he's right on him, but that first touch there, the little finish, that was so good. Okay, this signing, it might work. Now, halftime is going to be 3-3. Can we just forget that first half even happened, that six goals were scored in the first 45 minutes? Because this game is tied up now. Will Mbappe score a hat trick in his first game for us? He might. That's a very good chance to. Rashford and Mbappe is making a run. Rashford. Is going to try to... Oh, that was meant for Mbappe. He was going to be so... He was so free there again. Davies to Bruno. Bruno to Yudente. Yudente. Davies. That works. Now Davies. Cross up to Mbappe. The two new signings combine almost. Bruno good steal. Gets to Dallo. Okay, we're looking better here. Oh, great pass. Bruno. Back heel to Yudente. Yudente. Isn't it? Oh, man. I was waiting for Mbappe to, like, move there. Rashford's got Mbappe and also Davies. Oh, man. He's got sandwiched. That looked like a maybe foul. That one, I'm not going to be mad. It's not a foul, but it looked like maybe. Mbappe out to Dallo. Garnacho, I need you running there. Garnacho. Oh, man. He ran so late. Okay, Dallo. Can he find a pass here? Mbappe. Oh, man. Almost. Oh, man. Griezmann is... How is he so quick? Is this the old Griezmann? Okay, Varane just saved a goal right there. We got 20 minutes. Scaly's second half has been not so much as a goal fest. Bruno, what kind of pass is that? Okay, he steals it. He makes up for it. Garnacho, we're going to try a long ball to Mbappe. Why not Mbappe? Against, uh, okay, he was nervous there, whoever that defender was. Alfonso Davies into Yudente. Yudente has got Garnacho. Oh, man, the defender just caught up, though. We need to run quicker than that. Whoa, bad pass. Davies shot, and it's saved. Come on, boys. Where is the go-ahead goal? It's right there. Varane has it. Oh. Oh, the header was right over Onana, though. Come on, another good corner. That one's decent, but Onana is not going to chance it again. Whoa, great steal by Varane. 
Now, Rashford, Rashford, Rashford. Oh, man. It's just he got sandwiched again. Okay, Miguel Ramirez on for Garnacho. And then Ethan Mbappe is on for Bruno. So the Mbappe brothers in the same field at the same time. For the very first time in this series, we got the Mbappe brothers. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That's not a foul. There's no way that's a foul right there. Thankfully, it's not too far out. Please don't score this. Please, please don't score this. You have got to be joking. Costa, how would we let them score that from that far out? And that was Laporte? Wait, Laporte scored that? You've got to be kidding me. You're telling me he scored. How far is this? 28 meters out. You're telling me Laporte just scored this thing and Costa couldn't save that? Oh, you got to be joking. That makes me sick. 80 second minute. We are now down 4-3. Oh, man. They have another shot. Cost saves it, man. I can't believe they scored that. We had the momentum there to win the game. We got four minutes. Try and do something now. Ethan Mbappe. Good ball to Ramirez. Ramirez. He was fouled there. Yeah, okay. At least the ref calls that. Man, I'm not even sure we're going to get another chance. I can't believe that that free kick by Laporte is going to win them the game. Bro, that makes no sense. That actually makes no sense. That is full time. So this should have been a draw. It was a fair draw. But Laporte wins into this game 4-3. That is so unfortunate fortunate for us. Now, Mbappe scored two in his debut, so I'm happy with that, but the team definitely needs to play better as a whole right now. Now, in the dressing room after, the team is definitely not uh, the highest of spirits, but still, it was only our first Champions League game. We lost with a fluke free kick, so it's not all bad. We still have so much Champions League football left. I feel like this 3-4-3 isn't exactly like defensively working right now, so it's not too much different. We're going to try the 4-3-3 holding, though. All it is is basically dragging the wing backs back and then putting Casemiro back at that CDM spot. We're going to try that in the next game, and that next game is going to be the first Manchester derby of the season. In our first time seeing Mbappe versus Holland. And before this game, Holland says it's always nice to have another competitor in the league. To be the best team, you got to beat the best team. So he's looking forward to the Manchester Derby now involving Kylian Mbappe. So Man City lineup, pretty straightforward. This game, we're going to try the 4-3-3. And for the first time this series, it is Mbappe versus Erling Holland. Now, the way we had 3-4-3, switching to the 4-3-3 is not really that different. It's only like a slight little adjustment. So hoping that'll be enough to like solve our issues pretty much. But oh man, Holland versus Mbappe. In a Manchester Derby, this would be insane. Matter of fact, it is insane. One after a few bad results, this team should be fired up to actually start winning. Garnacho chance to shoot, and it's going to be a corner, I think. Early corner for us. Flies in. Marcos Llorente. That is cleared off the line. Was that Llorente? I actually don't know who that was who headed that. Dallo up to Mbappe. Mbappe stops. Gets it back to Dallo. Dallo tries to find Mbappe. Oh, man. He should have attacked it. That was not a bad cross. All right. This Man City attack is not... Looking bad at all. Calvin Phillips shot. Martinez good block. And Bruno should have won that. Goes to another shot. And now Costa makes a save. Oh, man. Foden's dribbling here is insane. Bruno trying to keep up with him. Phillips. Garnacho should have that. Okay. This is very dangerous. And De Bruyne is in a score. And it's one no to Man City. I mean, I'm not sure what we could have done differently here. It's just the close passing here. And, like, everyone's just flat-footed. Not really, like, marking De Bruyne. It's just way too easy. Just like that, it's one nil. We are on a very bad defensive streak right now. Davies to Mbappe. We need some response. Mbappe. Goes to Marcus Rashford. I'm not sure he's onside. He's offside. We score, but Rashford is a little bit offside. Oh, man. Holland's in behind. See, I need Varane to, like, come over there. He's, like, just, like, my defense looks so bad right now. Now, I don't know if it's Davies pushing up and leaving Martinez and Varane, like, to alone or what? 2 new in 20 minutes? This is horrible. And a Manchester Derby at home. Davies and a Rashford. Rashford tries to find someone. That was meant for Yedente, not Bruno. The only thing we do is just push on. Ryan do something here into Garnacho. Garnacho. Same finish as his first goal earlier. Okay, 2-1. We at least show signs of life here attacking-wise. Mbappe gets the assist. Garnacho goal. Our new number 11. And this is 2-1 the 26th minute. Download to Bruno. Come on, boys. Continue this little this little push. Try and tie this game up now. It's going to be Yerente. Yerente tries to find space. Okay, John Stones. Just shouldered Yerente. Now, Holland is in. Martinez trying to catch up. Holland shoots. We can't block that. It's 3-1. We are getting cut apart by Man City right now. And I don't even know why. I totally thought Martin was to block this, but the shot goes what? It goes like right behind him? Maybe I ran too far. I don't even know, but 3-1. We are in a hole right now, and this is not going well. This game is going to make me lose my mind today. Bruno to Mbappe. Goes over to Garnacho. We just need players in the box though, boys. Bruno to Rashford. Literally the same goal as Garnacho. Okay. 3-2, I guess. There are so many goals in our games. I think I've never had a series where there's this many goals in almost each and every game. Is it a combo of like a very bad defense and a good attack? I don't know, but this is 3-2. At least we are in this game right now still, even though I'm not sure we deserve to be. Bro, Foden is just beating Dallo like he's not even there. Oh, okay. Are you kidding me? Thank you, Varane. But Dallo's not even that slow. My players feel a little slow today. I don't know why. It just feels like everyone is under the weather. Bruno to Davies. Davies. Shows his pace up to Mbappe. Okay, I didn't think Mbappe would get that. Casemiro to Mbappe. Mbappe finds Marcos Yudente. Yudente. Finesse shot. Ederson. What a save. That thing on power on it, too. Bruno. Cross in. Varane is there. Couldn't quite get it, though. Garnacho. 
Does he have something? Get it back to Bruno. Into Mbappe. Mbappe. Low driven left footed shot. And Ederson saves it again, though. Okay, that's halftime. What an absolutely crazy game so far. Honestly, the 4 3 doesn't feel that much different than the 3 4 3. But this game is immediately tied up at halftime. Okay, Garnacho. He's got a brace. And now us trusting him with a starting spot looks like it's paying off so far. This is the season where he actually is taking a leap, I think. Now, this is simply Rashford having a good spot. Now, that's a very dangerous and risky pass, but it works. Okay, the game is 3-3. This is just like goal central right now. Bruno up to him. Oh, Mbappe was going to get that too. That's such good defending by Ruben Dias. All right, Marco Cidente. Why not go for a power shot? Maybe that's why not. Because that was not good. Cidente up to Rashford. Rashford's got options here. Could have played it to Bruno. Goes for a shot himself. I should have played it to Bruno. Casemiro over to Dallo. Dallo. Oh, we should have had a touch there. How is that pass so in front of him? Oh, no. Now, Holland. Why are we getting counterattacked so easily? Okay, Varane. That might be the best tackle of the entire series so far. And it was on Erling Holland. Bruno. Mbappe gets it over to Yudente. Why was that turn so slow, though? Yudente. Chance for a finesse shot. Oh, that had the right distance. Bro, this has been such a sloppy and weird game. Davies, though. Davies into Mbappe. Mbappe turns. Goes for a shot. Oh, man. He had time to pick his spot. Ederson still makes the save, though. Man, that's got to be a goal. Bruno, please deliver a corner. Varane gets to it. Ederson saves it. You got to be kidding me. Holland clears it. Oh, man. How... Have we not scored? Davies wins the ball. Goes to Casemiro. Casemiro dinks it up to Bruno. Bruno header, but it's going to go right to Ederson again. For the last 15 minutes, we've been by far the better team. It's just where's the goal at? Davies, Bruno, Bruno. That defender left Bruno, and Bruno puts the shot wide. How do you even not get that on target there? Okay, mount for Bruno, and then Hoyland on for Garnacho and Bop at a right wing. Please, Mark Holland. Please, Mark him. Please, with everything you have, please. Mark Holland, Martinez, thank you. Get it out. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, Yudente, Hoyland, you got fresh legs. Wait, that... Oh, man, that almost actually works in our favor, that touch. Oh, we make a tackle, and it bounces up to Holland like a pass. That's a better pass than even Relish could have played to him. Thankfully, Costa will have that. We got what? We got two minutes now, three minutes. Okay, Davies collects that. We might have one more chance here. Casemiro to Yudente. Yudente is in a fine. Casemiro, Casemiro needs one more oh why isn't mount running right there if mount is running he has a free lane like right to the goal this game is gonna be a 3-3 draw the first meeting of holland versus mbappe it's gonna be i think holland played better than mbappe honestly we didn't even play that great so for us to get a draw it's probably better than we deserve okay and pep guardiola's press conference after the game he says this is his final year coaching for man city that his contract will not be extended and he says he's gonna help in the process of finding a new head coach for next year his replacement at man city now that is pretty interesting but we're back home making some food now we go to the TV to watch some football highlights and we see Anthony scoring for his new team, Bayern Munich. Like with how we played recently and seeing that, did we make the right choice? I don't know. Now, next up is Benfica away and we're going to go with that lineup. So Ethan Mbappe, Miguel Ramirez, Luke Shaw, and Toriba come in. We seriously need to win right now. Now we are trying the 3-4-3 again. Honestly, last game, it didn't feel any different. And I feel like having Casemiro back as a center back, it should help us defensively. So we're going to try in this game. And oh man, like I said, if we don't win this, the alarm bells are going to be sounding very loudly. I can't believe what Luke Shaw just did there. Okay, Dante Mbappe's got space here. Mbappe got a lot of space. Driving forward. Tries to dig it up to Mer Ramirez. Trying to get it back to Mbappe. That was a very uh, interesting idea. Ramirez plays in Mbappe. Mbappe gonna try to find Yudente finds him. The shot is unfortunately blocked, though. Now, can Ethan Mbappe assist his brother? That would be pretty cool. Here he is. Okay, Ethan. Ethan finds his brother. Is gonna find the better pass, though, in Marco Yudente, and it's gonna be 1-0. Okay, nine minutes in. 1-0. Good start. Let's push on from here and secure a nice win. It would definitely do wonders for morale right now on the team. Ramirez to Ethan Mbappe. Ethan feeds in his brother, Killian. Killian. Oh, that first touch was insane. He hits the crossbar, goes for the bicycle kick. Okay, what a sequence. It's almost the brother-to-brother -brother assist, though. Rashford, far post shot, keeper, decent save. Okay, we've kind of been dominating the start, which I like to see. Ramirez tries to find Mbappe, actually finds him. Mbappe steals it back. And Mbappe is just, like, so quick. Ethan goes for a shot himself, deflected. Oh, that goes in. I think that's going to be an own goal, but Ethan Mbappe scores our second. That's definitely got to be an own goal. That was like deflected off the guy's foot. But hey, shooters shoot Mbappe shoots and scores. Yeah, it's off Antonio Silva. Yeah, that's off his, it's off his knee actually. Wait, I mean, that kind of was on target, right? That is going to be, okay, it's going to be Ethan's goal. Yeah, I think that's fair. That shot was on target, so Ethan scores. And this game is 2-0. Uh, okay, he just got taken out as well. Relax. And Todibo as a third center back is also an option over Casemiro. Now, the rating might not translate, but 
but he's faster. He's obviously more athletic. Now, that was offside, but Toribo could also improve our defense. We could try that. Hello into Mbappe. Mbappe, his close dribbling is insane. Back to Ethan Mbappe. Ethan goes for a shot. Okay, Ethan. He's kind of out showing his brother here. Oh, that's a great ball. Costa, good save though. Okay, prevents a goal. If they score one, we know what's going to happen. They're going to get back in the game. We can't let them score even one here. Look how many numbers we have in the box. There's no way we should let them score. No way. Okay, Marcus Rashford driving forward. Goes over to Killian Mbappe. Goes for a shot. Antonio Silva's arm. That's going to be a bruise. Gallo out to Miguel Ramirez. He'll get on that. Miguel gets it back to Ethan. Over to Yudente. Yudente. Dinks it up to Mbappe. Can he get that? Okay, that was a very weak attempt. And that is halftime. Now, it feels like we're playing solid. I like the clean sheet. I want this third goal, though. Ethan is going to try to find Mbappe. He might find him, might not. He's not going to. Now, that's a great pass. Okay, I, that totally faked me out. I thought it was going to the far player. And we have now let them right back into this game. I thought it was going to that player. He just left it. Bro, that was so smart. Okay, 2-1. We got to stop them there. We can't let them score again. Now, it is kind of funny because when Ethan Mbappe joined us, he said he wanted to get out of his brother's shadow. And he had like, what, a year and a half to develop here? I think he's more confident now that even with his brother here, he's not going to be overshadowed. Now, pass to Yudente. Yudente. Finds space, goes for the shot keeper. Man, that shot needs to be more in the corner. And Toribo is having a very strong game, though. He is looking solid. Mbappe to Mbappe. Ethan goes for a shot. It's going to be blocked. Come on, boys. You, we can't let them tie this up. We have been so much the better team in this game. Ethan dinks it up to Dallo. Dallo. Oh, man. If Mbappe was more in the middle, that would have been a good pass. Why is no one marking these guys? Oh, you got to be kidding me. He just gets the ball, turns and shoots, and it's 2-2. How can we go from being such in control of a game to just losing control? He gets this ball. He just turns. I guess Sudibo is not marking tight enough, but literally no one is. And now this is tied up. I thought we were going to have like a simple game. I don't even know why I thought that. Gallo to Mbappe. Mbappe. Gonna try to find something. He just needs help, man. He needs runners that are closer to him. Oh, man, you're kidding me. You have got to be joking. This guy, Araujo, has now scored a hat trick and it's 3 2. These goals right now, like, feel unpreventable. Ball in the middle. And then, once again, Toribo, Martinez, Varane. They're not marking players at all. They're letting players run through them. This is supposed to be the season coming off a Premier League title where we go after the Champions League. Right now, we're looking like we're not gonna make it out of the group. I guess now we're just playing for a draw, which Rashford. Into Mbappe. Can't find Mbappe. Okay, Ethan Mbappe steals it. For Luke Shaw. Now Luke Shaw. Do we have a decent cross to Mbappe? We're going to try to. Mbappe goes for a header attempt. And he hits the crossbar. You've got to be kidding me. I can't believe we didn't score that. And now our chances are running out. We got two minutes here. Rashford good dribbling into Killian Mbappe. Killian, please, goes for the shot. And Killian puts the shot wide. I mean, left foot from that angle, that was not easy. I believe that is the last chance we'll have, man. Wait, wait. Oh, ref blows the whistle there. How can you go from 2-0 and them not doing anything to losing at 3-2? We just played terrible in the episode. It might be as simple as that. So much for our season of becoming like the best team in the world. Because right now, we feel even farther from that than last year. So we sit in fifth place, five points off West Ham in first. And then we sit third in our Champions League group. Like we've signed the world's best player. Now, how do we win with this team? If you have any ideas, leave them in the comments down below but as always drop a like if you want to see more of this series click on screen for a new Zlatan episode over on Tyster Plus and as always hope you guys have a great day